Hey guys, Ghost here. In this video, I'm going to be doing a walkthrough on how to get the chaperone for Destiny 2 Forsaken. So the first step is you need about 25 kills in the Crucible with shotguns. I do not recommend using the one I have because it is not one hit point blank. Um, if you got the Rasputin one, you can get from Excavation Protocols. I recommend using that one. It's broken and overpowered. So use it, go for it. But anyways, yes, get 25 kills and then you will be able to move on to the next step. So this is going to be a sped up version of me getting 25 kills. Um, pretty much just watch, I guess. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the second part when uh, I make it there. Zone B, Zone A captured. I captured Zone B, Zone Advantage is yours. Zone A, Zone C, Zone Advantage is yours. <laughs> Zone advantage is yours. Zone B lost. Zone C captured. Zone advantage is yours. Zone A lost. Zone C lost. Your opponent has a power play. Zone C lost. Cut that momentum. Keep pushing. I captured Zone B. Zone advantage is yours. Zone A lost. Zone C captured. Zone advantage is yours. Zone B lost. This isn't over until Shaq sings, and he's very shy. Zone A captured. Zone advantage is yours. Zone C lost. I captured zone B. Zone advantage is yours. Zone C captured. Power play. Total control.
defeated. Zone B lost. After getting your 25 kills, the next step is you need 50 kills with all three elements, solar, void, and arc. In the videos that are coming up, I will be doing it in order from solar to void to arc. So pretty much is after I got about 48 kills with one, I would record and I would just show you guys basically, hey, this is just what you gotta do. You need to get kills with solar weapons. And that's what I did in each of these little steps. So again it's gonna be solar which is this one the next clip will be void and after that will be arc so just take your time get 50 kills with all three elements i think supers and abilities count as well so make sure every time you swap an element you put on everything you can that is related to that element opponent claims zone B. Zone C lost. Your opponent has a power play. Vicious. Opponent claims Zone B. Five minutes remain. Zone A captured. Zone advantage is yours. Zone B captured. Power play. All zones held. The battlefield is yours. Finish it. The next step is to head over to Gambit and get 15 Guardian kills. This can be for both invading and killing invaders. I personally focused heavy on invading. I, I wouldn't really recommend doing that because you will get hate mail. Uh, one of these guys I'm playing with actually sent me a whole bunch of messages uh, swearing at me and stuff because I was uh, invading too much apparently. Even though if, if you're actually a really good invader, it actually helps out a lot because you're always denying the enemy team motes. But anyways, yeah, I, I did some hardcore invading. Try your best to use a overpowered pulse rifle or if you're really toxic, go ahead and use your sleeper simulant. Um, just try your best in a match or two to get the 15 kills. It is possible to do it in one. As you can see at the very end, I actually did end up with 15 kills exactly. So it is possible to do it in one match, if not two. If you're really, really not that great at uh, PvP, then it, it can take you a little bit longer. But eventually, you will have it done.
That's going to be it for the Zolt quest line. After you get your 15 invasion kills or uh, invader kills in the gambit game mode, you can head over to the tower, go to holiday, and she will have a chaperone wait for you guys. I hope this tutorial helped everyone, and if you guys enjoyed it and liked it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And uh, I'm going to stop talking so you can hear holiday, and I'll see you guys next time. You did it. You won the crucible contest. I asked the folks at Tex Mechanica if I could give you your prize myself. So, here it is. Shotgun by the name of the Chaperone. Treat her right, and she'll treat you right. <laughs>